people of Britain, your celebrities need you. Hello, and welcome to the final of Celebrity Big Brother 2006. Oh, and what a Big Brother, oh, what a Celebrity Big Brother 2006 it's been. Quite frankly, well, it was brilliant. Uh, even if I do say so myself, we've had powerful pants, secrets, lies, big mouths, even bigger lips, a cat, some leotards, a gorilla coat that wasn't even made of gorilla. We've had arguments, more arguments and some of the biggest and best personalities the celebrity world has ever encountered. And Sir Jimmy Savile. Now sadly, all great things must come to an end. Or should we just keep them in there for another week? I wish we could, but we can't! Okay, let's do what our celebrities never did and look on the bright side, right? Tonight, one of our housemates will walk out of those doors with an even bigger ego than they walked in with. When you cram them, you're winner. Now, here are the final six in their final diary room chats with Big Brother. And watch out for the phone numbers. It is your last chance to vote before the reading for sixth place takes place. I think maybe Preston will win. And the reasons why I think Preston will win is because he's just a really nice, genuine person. Um, I think there's probably a lot of girls out there that have fallen in love with him and he'll break a lot of hearts when he turns around and tells them he's got a girlfriend. Um, to genuinely be a nice person is like such a nice thing. So I reckon Preston. I would like uh, to win Big Brother because... Um... I, I've, I've, I need to make some money, and uh, the boys in the band, we need to keep the career going for the next couple of months. And uh, if you let me win at Big Brother, then it'll be very nice because I'll get more photos in the paper. I might even go on the radio, and uh, then the money can start coming in a bit better. My time in the Big Brother house has been the ultimate example of life. Um, I didn't put any expectations <coughs> on uh, Big Brother at all in the house uh, because I thought that was the safest way to deal with it. Who would I like to win? I'd like Maggot to win. Michael needs to win because it will validate the fact that even though the media have tried to crucify him and drive him to suicide, that the public will override that and love him. He truly is an example of a performer who needs to feel mass adulation and love. And it was, you know, the media have put a brick wall in the front of that so he can't get to the people who he needs to love him. He needs as much love as he can get. Chantal would like to win it. And I don't think it's a, it's a bad character reference. I think she's a cold-eyed shark. And she wants pop stardom now. And I, for the life of me, can't understand how. Of course I want to win Big Brother. I mean, it'd, I'd be silly to get this far and not to want to, but it, I was never, it's never been a competition. It's, it's never been about that. But obviously, if someone says, oh, you can either win it or not win it, what do you want? Obviously, I'd rather win it. But at the same time, I really want Chantel to win it. In fact, I'd, like, I'd, I'd rather Chantel win it because of the <laughs> you it would be to everyone if she won it, being the one who wasn't a celebrity when she came in. Why I think I should be... Uh, winner of uh, Big Brother because I'm a great person. I, I do listen. I do care. I've done my share of um, uh, um, housework um, and I, I do care about people's heart and feelings and um, I'm fun to be around and exciting and um, that's what you want as a housemate. Someone who can be all those things. A good family member and someone that makes you smile. text the name of the housemate you want to win to 84444. Now, we're taking our first vote count for the housemate in sixth place. Now. Oh 
But before we get down to eviction business, final night wouldn't be final night without the enforced reunion of the ex-housemates. First up is Jody. Two days after leaving the house, you said you're going to leave show business for good. Now, is this going to be your last TV appearance? It'll be my last reality TV appearance. <laughs> we put you off forever. I, I really didn't like that at all. But Sorry. Next is Faria. You just want to stand there. So, Freya, has the public opinion changed of you since you've left the house? Maybe a little bit. Hey, the good, the good thing about you going into the house is that Sven's got other bigger things to worry about now than you. Excellent. I'm glad. Stay there. <laughs> Off you go. Thanks. Okay, next up, we've got Rula. Well, I said good evening and I didn't get a response. So that's a no. But you're going to be sitting next to each other, so hope. Holding hands? You never know. Madder things have happened. Is there a cat commercial on the way, have I heard? Um, it's been mooted, but nothing signed yet. Oh, I hope so. That'd be very funny. Off you go, Rula! Next is George. today. How did it go? Fabulous. My constituents were right behind me. Some of them were beating the press with their umbrellas. Well done, George. Off you go. Now, can I have one more thing? Kiss and make up with Ruler, please. Okay. Yes. And here's Dennis. Now, we're not going to talk to Dennis because we're a bit worried he might say something really naughty. So I'm just going to usher him straight off. You know what it's like. He's a bit offended. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the ex housemates. Okay, so this is where the fun really starts. I am now going to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. Do not what? The votes have been counted and verified, and I can reveal that the housemate finishing in sixth place is... Tracy. <laughs> Tracy, you've got 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you. See you in a second, Holly. See you later. Tracy, 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 take that. Oh, the rest, where do I go? Out there. Bye. See you later. Bye. 15 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one, go. two, one. Tracy, uh. you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Tracy, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. How do I get out? Tracy, you have been evicted.
Have you ever seen anything like it? just stand here and watch her working it for hours. She just so does that brilliantly, doesn't she? Look at her. Give it the pout. Come on. Okay. Tracy, enjoy some of the crowd here. Enjoy some of the crowd. Okay, Tracy's out, but the lines are open for you to vote for your winner. For Chantal to win, call 09011 323301. That's 09011 323301. For Maggot to win, call 09011 323306. That's 09011 323306. For Michael to win, call 09011 323307. 09011 323307. For Pete to win, call 09011 323308. That's 09011 323308. My husband's over there somewhere. He'd love a wife. For Preston to win, call 09011 323309. That's 09011 Or you can text the name of the house where you want to win. To eight double four double four. We're going to be taking another vote count straight after the break. I'll see you then. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Welcome back to the final. Okay, we're taking a vote count for the fifth place now. But first of all, it's time to welcome Tracy. Yeah. Um, is it is it frustrating to have got that far to the final day and to not actually win it? Well, you know, it's interesting because, you know, you're in the home. There's so much going on. You know, it becomes chaotic, but then it becomes loving. You know, I'm happy that I made it to the finals and I got this far. This is so, it's been a pleasure. This truly is an honor to be here. Chaotic is the right word. <laughs> yes, I think Chaotic totally... and then a tiny bit of loving. <laughs> yeah. um, do, you, do, you, do you think ever think you were in a, with a chance of winning? Well, honestly, I'm just honored to be here. I think everyone has an opportunity, a good chance of winning. You know, everyone you, here... Can I just quickly ask you, you don't still think race is an issue, do you? No, no, good. no, no, no. There was, it's there was, not, no, it? was a big no. misunderstanding. Good. It because was a big misunderstanding. I think Freya didn't really mean that. I think she was upset no, that she got Freya, nominated. No, Freya, it was, yeah. no. It was fine. Exactly. I, yeah, um, it's, it was for all Madison, of them. you always saw the best in everyone. Yes. So see what, see what I mean when you have a look at this. Okay. Oh. My. God. God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, you're in jeans. Stop, stop. I have to get one. Please? George, where did you get that piece of toast? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Wow, it looks beautiful. I am like totally naked. That'd be awesome. You're awesome. Awesome. You're so funny. So funny. Not so funny. So funny. I must be very entertaining to you people, huh? You will not be allowed to attend your birthday party. Oh my god, that is so hot. That is so cool. <laughs> JC! Oh. <laughs> I love that. How can you say that True. is so cool when we tell you that you're not allowed to attend your own birthday party? Oh, I didn't know what to feel. When <laughs> I read that I couldn't attend my own birthday party, I was a little bit taken back. But it's just as well because finally after the hour, I was able to join the rest of the housemates. Because sometimes I was just thinking, go on, Tracy, go into that diary room and just go, I hate them all! <laughs> They're driving me mad! <laughs> but you just... You'd never do that, would you? No, I don't think I would ever do that. I accepted it. You know, I, and honestly, there really isn't any hate in the house. I know we all had moments. It seemed like there was hate, but I think all in the end, you know, it's, it's all well and good. Now, look, you had a pretty tough time in there at times. How yes. hard was it for you? Well, I had, I had a, a few tough times there. Um, and I had one uh, night of paranoia um, just recently. It was the evening when we were counting the coins. You know, because I thought I'm the only one who had the wig on, everyone else had hats on. I thought people were plotting against me, and then Preston and um, Chantel were going in their little private room, and I didn't really get what was going on, as Too usual. much time to think. Yeah, too much time to think, but then I got over it. I mean, my heart was palpitating. My worst time it. for you, my worst moment for you, was when Pete had a go at you in the <laughs> living room for no reason <laughs> at all, and it just went on and on and on, but you didn't give anything back. 
Well, he I just took it. Why? Well, I, you know, because Pete, I know if he really wanted to destroy me, I think he could come pretty close or actually do I it. I thought he was really trying to. But with Pete, my, I guess my relationship with him is I just think he's very clever, very witty, very outspoken. And he usually says things to help you, not so much to hurt you. So I took it as a grain of, with a grain of salt. Well, I thought you did amazingly well Thank not you. to knock him out. <laughs> and like in fact, nobody stood up for you, and I was a bit upset about that. You know, I think it was just my night to be picked on. Okay, Tracy, you were awesome. awesome. Here are your best bits. <laughs> I'm Tracy Bingham, I'm an actress. Oh, she's just tits and ass, but it's like, I work out. I'm not perfect, I'm not flawless. Ah! Take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Am I fat? <laughs> my goodness, Tracy. Quite a sight in that little scar. Thank you. I seriously thought there would be more sexual action. Oh, Tracy. Dennis! 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 Here, yeah, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Ow! Oh, I can't take things too seriously. Oh, my jugs were out. You look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Are they, are they yours? Yeah, everyone keeps asking me, like, do you want to touch them? I said, are you gonna... Do you think anyone, when you go for a casting, sees past your knockers? Everything you aspire to be is repugnant to me. You're insincere to the point of nausea. No, I feel like, ooh, I've upset the whole vibe of the house. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get involved. <laughs> oh, f off. This is amazing. I truly have never experienced anything like this before in my life. This has been exquisite. I don't want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. I will kiss bum if I have to. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Gentlemen, Tracy! Thank you! <laughs> fellow housemates over there. You oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, now, who, if you go up over there, up over there, okay, so who will be joining Tracy on the long walk to Louisville? I hope she's going to put a coat on. She'll catch the death of cold. Right, I am now going to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. No, no. OK. Hi. The votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the housemate finishing in fifth place is... Eight. Pete! Don't talk to me, Bob. See you later, son. Okay, let me... Oh, Pete, you've got 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you. Bye. 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 Bye.
finished fifth, but the lines are still open for you to vote for your winner. For Chantel to win, call 09011 For Maggot to win, call 09011 For Michael to win, call 09011 That's 09011 for Bristol to win, call 09 That's 09 Or you can text the name of the housemate you want to win to 84444. We're going to be taking a vote count to determine fourth place straight after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the final of Celebrity Big Brother 2006 and welcome to Pete! Oh. Do you know, it is... It is like Panto. Are you surprised by that reaction? What reaction are you referring that to? That reaction, the Panto. Well, I'm thrilled by the booze because at least it shows that I've still got what it takes to make people think about something. That's very true. That's I'm very thrilled true. by the booze. It's 1977 all over again. <laughs> Are you gutted to be here? Gutted, I'm to absolutely be... thrilled. I was gutted to be in there. <laughs> I'd only packed enough makeup and clothes for five days. I was gutted, I was confined. Now, you are very frank, and it's one of the things that... <laughs> Guys... Don't you wish, bitches. Guys... As we were saying. Listen, I'm just going to carry on. Right, now, you're very frank, right? Yeah. And I've always known that you quite like provoking people. Quite what, sorry? Like provoking people. It, that's not a conscious decision. It's just my very existence provokes imbeciles. No, but when you, when you... What I mean by that is when you're honest with people... They can't take it. Oh, but when you're honest with people, you're honest in quite a harsh way. No, I don't believe in beating around the bush and people can't deal with the truth these days. Did you ever think in the house, oh, actually, I, d I went too far? Not for a minute. Not for a minute. What about that night with Tracy? you know, in the living room? Not for a minute. She's strong enough to take it. But when... Because in a way, I felt, watching you, that you were waiting for her to go, actually, you know what? Stop. I'd have okay. carried on. I have, a, I have a very strong principle on the misuse of words, and I believe the night that I had with Tracy, she was saying, I love your shoes, I love your this, I love your that. And it's a real badly misused word to love. You can't love shoes, you like shoes. But, but I think Tracy... <laughs> but you know, interestingly, what was interesting was I, I had to ask Tracy how she felt about that. Yeah. And she said, actually, you know, you, when you know Pete you know that he's just trying to tell you something. I made her think, and that's the purpose of existence, to make people think. Now, you might have hurt people's feelings when you were in there, but Fine. you did have a fantastic turn of phrase. Check this out. Oh, no. I do have to say, I think the house would be a duller place without me. Come on, sweetheart, die. What's your plan called? Bastard. You can take a whore to culture, but you can't make her think. I think Big Brother hatched her out of an egg. Chantel, Chantel, does your family smell? Next time you get your teeth floss, see if you can do it with your brain as well. I'm not into this spiritualist zen shit. I chant. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I'd rather reign in hell than serve in heaven. The Preston looks like a chimp at a chimp's tea party. And he just looked like a total banker with a W. By the time I leave, I'll look like a mix of Bella Remberg and Rolf Harris. Nature played a trick on me. Nature stuck a big old dick on me. Well, I actually hope that when I'm dead, somebody stuffs me and puts me in the living room. You total fucking <laughs> OK, thank you. I don't give a fucking brown log of shit. I bet you had to go through it with a is fine tooth comb to get those bits. No, Thank is you. It, is, it, is it quite funny watching yourself back? It's not that funny. I knew what I was saying. I think about what I say before I say it, and I say it like it is. And if you can't take it, get out of the kitchen or get some earplugs. Did you, did you get the sense in there at all that people were frightened of you? 
I think people are kind of frightened of me for many different reasons, but that's fine. I'm scary, but fun. But in a funny kind of way, do you find that when people are frightened of you, it's almost like a lamb to the slaughter? You think, right! Well, there's a kind of very narrow border between fear and fascination, and the fascinated and so afraid you of what get they're fascinated by. But also, you get a bit fascinated by them and think, oh, all right, well, I can go a bit further. I'm going to see how far I can push it before somebody stops me, because people don't stop you. Mm. That's what's quite... Interesting. Yeah, I've only ever met one person. Well, two people in my life that stop me, which is my wife, Lynn, and my boyfriend, Michael. And Michael. They'll stop me, but hey, I don't go down easily. How would. (laughs) (laughs) How would you. How would you describe yourself? I'll leave it up to the boo side. Yeah, I I don't think I'll say that on a. Um, now, listen, another thing that um, we noticed about you was that you are quite high maintenance. Um, are you like that at home? Well, it's just a natural state of being to me, and, you know, there's a lot of people in the world that are probably higher maintenance than I am. Have you learned anything from your time in the house? That I really wouldn't do it again unless they offered me 25 times more money. i tell you what you've learned in the house. What have I learned in the house, Davina? Do tell me. Do, 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 do. If I How to pack a suitcase. The first one I ever did tonight. I also learned how to go without sex for three weeks, and that was a really hard one. Ew. Not for much longer. Oh, you bet. <laughs> now, listen. Get ready for me. I think you've kind of already answered my question on this, but did you enjoy your time in the house? Any of it? It was the best of times and the worst of times. I loved it when the numbers diminished because I got more time in the bathroom. I love that. And I really loved the experience of being in the company of Michael and George and um, Dennis and Tracy and on a varying scale down the line and Faria and Ruler as well. It was a real adventure because I'm a really solitary person and I'm kind of allergic to people, but I learned to quell those allergies. They're getting right up the crack of my... So that was actually a very difficult experience for you, being in there. It was extremely difficult, extremely difficult. But ultimately, I even hate exercise, but I do it six days a week when I'm out of the house, and I just like it when it's finished, so I'm thrilled. Um, you'll be pleased to know that You Spin Me Round is being re-released. I'm actually clinically depressed at the thought of that, because I can't keep spinning round till I'm 50. <laughs> you don't want it to be re-released? No, I really don't. I really don't. And I say that completely honestly. I'm sick to damn death of it. Oh. I've been there, I've done that. It's Move like on. being asked to stay in your school uniform when you're 50. I can't do it anymore. OK, so who do you want to win now that you're out? The person who I, who I really, really, really want to win is Michael. Why? Because I think he needs to win because he needs that affirmation of public adoration due to what he's been through. He needs a sign. He needs a sign that means he's overridden the scummy, disgusting gutter press that have done their own trial. He just needs a sign, and that'd be a big sign. Listen, Pete, whatever the public think of you, you have been just awesome to watch, and thank you for being such a great housemate. And whatever I think of the public, they're just awesome. Awesome! Here you best bits. I feel like I've been fired out of a cannon. I'm obviously made of strong stuff. Yo! Big Brother is aware you are made of very strong stuff, Pete. (laughs) A man who dresses like a woman, but has no intention of becoming a woman. Think of yourself as a man or a woman. Come and have a look at my vagina. Think of myself totally as a man. Don't touch my girl! I ain't no fairy. (laughs) I would be in agony to stand for more than three minutes in those clogs. I do everything in heels. He's got a jacket made out of monkey. My fucking coat is in police custody. Gorilla, fuck off. My coat's been arrested. And I want that coat back within the next two hours. I I am my fair coat. I'm going up the fucking wall. Fuck off. She's really getting right up the crack of my ass. I wouldn't piss on her if she burst into flames. You're insincere to the point of nausea. I just attack Tracy for the hell of it. Who's the problem? Let's just kill Dennis. We could live on him for three weeks. Hi, Dragula has risen from the grave. I just want to go. Oh, fuck off, you bunch of slags. Fuck Big Brother. 
and his mother. This is like being in a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> I'm coming to pieces. I just really miss my boyfriend. Michael! We both love you. We really, really do. I want a steak. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a fuck. Oh. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a red baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a red baby. Ow, ow, ow. You spin me right round. Thank you so much. I know that you've really, really missed Michael, so we thought we'd get him up here on stage to come and welcome you back out of the house. Michael? <laughs> OK, so uh, congratulations to Pete. I'm going to leave you here. I'll let the floor manager come and come get you so you can look after Pete and Michael. You know, whatever you say, I know he was a very colourful character and there are a lot of booze here, but my goodness, Pete added some spice to that house. Right, I'm now going to do my favourite bit. I'm going to have a little chat with the house, find out who's in fourth place. Big Brother House, this is Davino. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. Hello. The votes have been counted and verified. And I can now reveal that the housemate finishing in fourth place is... Yeah. Preston! Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> oh, <it's perfect. laughs> I feel like I said that. Oh. Yeah, mate. See you later on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you later on. Oh, Preston, you have okay, 30 man. seconds to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you. Yeah. 30 seconds. Oops, <laughs> 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Preston, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. who's your number one, but first, your number four is Preston! Yeah! I think that's the first unanimous cheer we've had all series, actually. Um, oh, so near and yet so far. Oh, it's all right. I've done well, I've done well. 
you did, you did so well. And the last day, you endured that whole time in that nut house. So well done. Congratulations. Thank um, you. Now, um, you were a big Big Brother fan before you went in. Absolutely. Um, did, it, did it sort of differ being in it to watching well, it? Well, I've walked around in the corridors around You've the house. You've done the camera yeah, run? Yeah, when it was the summer series. So I knew what I was, do you know what I mean? I've been on Big Brother's little brother and I knew what I was, I was getting myself in for a little bit. But you go in there and you just don't think, I mean, the, the, the time it takes to switch off completely and just immerse yourself in it and just live it and, and not think about the fact that anyone's watching it on telly is, is, it was within hours, do you know what I mean? And had you thought, you know, how you were going to do things? Like, N would not you at all, use not the diary all. room? Or would I you... thought about walking up them steps, walking down there and saying hello and I hadn't thought of any more and it just sort of... Uh, and I think that's why I've done well, because I've done that and it's been able, I've been able to forge proper relationships with people and make proper friendships because of that. Are you still a fan of the show? Absolutely. Oh, thank goodness for that. OK, that's good. Thank you. Now, in the last week, um, the amount of sort of infighting in the house, well, it got to kind of boil. I lost it a couple of times in there. I hadn't, done, I hadn't done that before in my life. What was it like? Well... It was people overreacting to these to nothing, and uh, it's just like it's a telly show. Everyone in there seemed really nice, so I just think you know it was just like chill out for fuck's sake, everyone. <laughs> I mean, basically, you were playing a game. Yeah, we like the thing, my my thing was me and Chantel done a secret task, and then certain people thought that we'd like just like betrayed them and been lying it's a it's a game that's what you do you do a secret task it was fun to pretend that we didn't have that little room and uh people just flew off the handle and it was a bit mental um now it was clear to everybody who your best mate in the house was yeah let's have a look no shame if you made a little montage of clips you could make us look like young lovers it touched my heart it touched my soul Change my life and all my goals. I think she's some sort of soulmate or something. My heart was blinded by We get on really well and we both like each other. The person's always happy when Chantel's around. Oh I've been addicted to you. If anything gets a bit too heavy, I can just go and do something silly with Chantel. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. <laughs> oh, I think you're wicked. Oh, I think you're wicked too. Goodbye, my friend. I feel like I've known her forever. You have been the one for me. You did know we were going to do that, didn't you? Yeah, I wanted it. You knew she's lovely. we were She's adorable, do, that. do you know what I mean? She's like... She's, she's proper, what? She's a little angel. And so what... What, what are you then, you and Chantel? We're just mates. Very, very good mate. Very, very good mate. Yes. Now, can we just spare a thought for your girlfriend? Yeah, we can. Who, who, is she? Give me evils. Oh, no, is she? She's French, isn't she? She is, yeah. Je suis désolée. Oui, non, mais... C'est pas grave. Il est sorti, il n'y a rien de se passer. Oh, 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 C'est pas grave. Oh, look at you speaking French. Look at you. Um, but it must have been hard for her. No, she knows. I'm, I'm flirty anyway, do you know what I mean? And it's just like, I started off flirting with someone who I didn't realise I was going to be really good mates with, so it, it kind of all crossed over a little bit. And, but there was, there's nothing between me and Chantel other than, like, a loving friendship, do you know what I mean? A loving friendship. If you were single, this is such a loaded question, but I just have to ask it, I'm really, really sorry. If you were single, would you? No comment. Sorry. Um, OK, now, what have you learnt about yourself from your time in the house? I've learnt... I've learnt a lot about trust and, like... I'd much rather trust someone and be disappointed than to not trust anyone. Do you know what I mean? So I went in there and I trusted everyone and, and it paid off sometimes, it didn't pay off other times. I've learnt a lot about being affectionate. I'm quite... You know, I like to give hugs and, like... You know, I'm quite touchy, tactile, whatever. And some people feel very uncomfortable with that, and it, and it makes them sort of, you know, they, they don't like it, but that's not my problem, that's their problem. And can I just say, I just love the way you hold your microphone, because look, this is how a TV presenter holds their microphone, and yeah. this is how a singer... How are you doing it? 
don't so know. So hardy, like a bit like Alvin Stoddis. I'm too old, aren't I? And every, uh, all the young people in the audience are going, Alvin, you're like that. Singer, because you're a singer. Um, now listen, personal highlights. Yes. What, for me? Yeah. Um, eating all them chocolate and being sick. Think, oh, you were so heroic. Thinking I was drunk when I was wasn't. Was it? The liqueur, the chocolate liqueurs. Can anyone remember oh, that task? He threw up three times. Come on. That's winning stuff there. Well done, mate. And also, I can tell you that Boys Will Be Boys has been re-released and is top ten in the midweek oh, charts. That's good, isn't it? Well done. OK, well done, Preston. You were brilliant. Here are your best bits. Thank you. Hi right there. Doing celebrity with Robbie, yeah? That's what I'm doing today as well. I've heard of your band, but I don't know what you sing. We're well good. I really like you, brother. I've got to eat all these. I'm so pissed. I think I will be sick. I'm cool. Flirting outrageously. In fact, just knock someone in, yeah, press them. I'm on it right now. <laughs> really, really like it. And Hello Magazine, I want exclusive pictures of our wedding. We've chosen to nominate Tracy, Maggot and Ruler. Cheating politician, eh? Who would have thought we're... I've lost a lot of respect for him. That is low! Such a sweet boy. Fucking wanker! Wanker! He's sweet, he's lovely, he's very cute. I'm 100% happy in it. <laughs> I'm a genius, you're all wankers, you'll never see me again. In the last two weeks, I've laughed more than the rest of my life put together. <laughs> I've had a really wicked time. Ladies and gentlemen, Preston! If you want to go and join your other housemates over there. It's putting all these housemates back together again. I don't know if it's such a good idea, you know. I can't even look over there, I'm too frightened. Um, OK. Preston was our first housemate, I think, in the whole series to get a unanimous cheer from the audience. So let's see how our next housemate gets received. Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. Oh, wow. <coughs> the votes have been counted and verified, and I can oh, now God. reveal that the housemate finishing in third place yeah. is... <laughs> Maggot! Yes! Oh, so Maggot, cool. stay where you are. I'm going to be oh. coming to get you in half an hour's time. Oh. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh. oh, Maggot. Oh, Maggot. That's cool. Give us a kiss, Maggot. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> well done, fair play. That's cool. Well done. Oh, my God, it's down to you. Yeah. Fuck you know. Well done, mate. Well, I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> stand tall, stand tall. Oh, we, stand... Met, we were first two in. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's mad. That's weird. Half an hour. Well, Maggie, well done. Yeah, no, well, thank you. No, that's cool. Brilliant. Oh, well done, Maggie. Oh. Best bit of meeting you. No, yeah, oh, same here, eh? Well, we may as well. They'll get the toilet door open. But it's weird, though, because I've got to stay in here. Yeah, I know. Which is really bizarre. And it's got to build up, like, no, for you in. now. She's, you she's know you're going like this. So, using the power of mathematics, and, you know, you could call it just general women's intuition, I can deduce that Chantel or Michael are going to win this thing. Just you mark my words. So for Chantel to win, call 09011 323301. That's 09011 323301. For Michael to win, call 09011 323307. That's 09011 Or you can text the name of the housemate that you want to win to 8 Four, double four. You've got 47 minutes left until the lines are closed. I'll be back in half an hour with the final instalment from tonight's events. But if you want to catch up with the full story of what happened in the house yesterday, you can turn over to E4 right now. I'll see you at 10. You got that? 
God, Jesus. You all right? I'm quiet for once. You're fine. You'll be all right. Yeah, the hands aren't so still now. No. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. Well, it's one of two. It's me and Michael Bowman off the telly. <laughs> Mark? Hey? Mark? Is huh? it Mark? Mark? Let's not get your name, Mark. You'll find out. Hey, let us Jesus. It. Oh. What? I don't know, I just... I don't know. That's weird. It's weird that I've got to wait you yeah, it's time to go straight. No, yeah, because you know as soon as she comes back on, you're going out. Cheers. That's cool. Yeah, completely. <sighs> Three third place out of eleven, that's a that's a lot, Maggie, do you know what I mean? It's free. And they'll be dancing in the valleys tonight. Yeah, 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 Maggie. Yeah, that is Maggie. Shout that to GLC. <laughs> Please you don't need all that horror in here. Huh? Please you don't need all that horror in here. You know, and just when the time's and when the time's necessary to say it, I better. <clears throat>